I am back. Sorry, guys. I mean, it is what it is. That's why I want to get a. That's why I want to get a camera so I can like up. You know. <sighs> what do you mind? What do you call it? So first of all, it doesn't cut off, <laughs> and also so I can edit and stuff. But bear with me. It's just what it is. Uh, I can't get a camera now, so I just want to get the messages out. So this was group number five. Okay, let's continue. Remember, we had the Hangman assessing Goddess of the Moon, Six of Swords. Will of Fortune and the Ten of Wands with the Malachite Stone Healing. Like I said, guys, you guys are getting information. You guys are very connected. You guys could even be um, in the spiritual business. You know, you are definitely <coughs> an empath. You are connected. You talk with spirit. Spirit gives you, gives you messages. You connect to spirit. That's how you go about your life. You're intuitive. Intuitive. You've developed that in, you know, intuition and that connection. You get downloads. Um, so now I felt like, like I said, saying, you guys are moving, okay, with this Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords, okay, and this Ten of Wands, you're moving from a really, really heavy, moving away from a very heavy, burdensome situation. Like I was saying, it might have had to do with family. You were staying at, um, with your family or in a state or in a place just because you felt like they needed you there, you know, you wanted to help and blah, blah. But it just got a little bit too heavy. You were not appreciated for the work you put in. You know, they didn't realize that you were actually sacrificing yourself for them. And now you're just going to do you, basically. And I think this full moon is going to reveal that self-love to you. That, yes, you're not going to be a bad person. You don't have to feel bad. I think you're assessing the situation and you're ready to move on. Okay. You're ready to to do you that's what i'm feeling so before i got cut off i was getting clarifiers from my little little scarabeo tarot to see okay if you hear freaking forks in the background my son is eating his lunch what is it a for la cook and hot dogs yeah mama cooks mama cooks i love cooking actually i'm a cancer son and i love cooking for him yeah we have menus and everything but anyway see again that's again that you know taking care of you've been taking care of your family did a card flip you've been taking care of family or family members or whatever for a long time and you're just ready to, to, to do you now okay you're ready to move even locations you're just ready to move you're ready to move four pentacles yeah you've decided to take care of yourself to um, take that energy and give it back to you to finally think about you all right invest in you okay four pentacles you're holding back, you know, you've decided it's time I start giving to myself now. That's what you're doing, okay? Let's get another clarifier spirit for the Six of Swords. Yes, Empress, yes, you've decided to nurture yourself, definitely. Taurus energy, and this was even Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So yeah, and Venus is in Taurus, remember guys. So yes, you're deciding on that, you're, you're, you're going for that self-love, healing. You're healing yourself, you decided to heal yourself, give, your, give yourself the energy, um, not because they're, you're not appreciated. It's just time. It's time. The six of swords, it, it's my, it's time card and wheel of fortune. It's time. It's time. Okay. Empress, you have things you want to do. You want to focus on your career. You want to focus on what you may want to make grow your plans, your dreams, your aspirations. You want to start, you know, you want to, you want your own space. You need space. You want your own space. Yep, Knight of Wands, you're going, you're going for it, you don't care, on top of the Wheel of Fortune. It's not that you don't care, it's just that it's time. This is, it's time. It's time. Fast movement forward. Knowing exactly what you need to do. Going for your happiness, your passion. Going for you, choosing you, okay? And it's going to be very fast. You're going to make up your mind like this. They might not like it. Mm. They might not like it. One more card, please. One more card, please, spirit. Two more from the side. One more card, spirit. Okay, we have the five of swords. Planning, yep, this is planning. They say it's somebody stealing and whatever. Sorry, guys. Five of swords. Five of swords. Five of swords. Sorry, oh, I'm getting distracted. Five of Swords, so this is like planning. They say somebody's stealing and whatever. 
um, not stealing, sorry. It's somebody like that's very like, uh, me, 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 yeah. At all costs, I'm gonna win. Well, this is what you're trying, you're deciding to do, okay? You're deciding to be like, I'm gonna go for me, I don't care. I'm taking my swords, this is what I think. I'm gonna put my energy in myself. You don't like it, but walk away. Okay, I'm done. I'm standing up for myself. I believe in what I believe in, and I'm standing my ground. Okay, with this 10 of swords, this is what it is. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You've had indictment. Like I said, it's that assessing again, that queen of the moon and that hangman energy. That's what you're doing, group number five, okay? Okay, <clears throat> so let's see. Let's get some astro, numinous astro deck. Hold on a second. Numinous astro deck. My lighter was over there because I was smoking. Okay. Yeah. This pick a card has been fun, but hey, it is what it is. Real life time, real life energy, real life. What's happening? This is it. This is life. Life. This is life. Yeah. So you get to live my tumultuous life too. <laughs> All right. Let's get some numinous astro deck just to get more uh, precise on this. Oops. Quincux. Complexity flew out. Quincux. Complexity, which is that 10 of wands, right? You're done with the complexity. This was a complex situation. And you want it to do good. You want it to be, you know, helpful. But now you're deciding to help yourself. You're deciding to help yourself. You're, you're done with it. It's complex. It's, you're done. You want to be free. That ten of wands, you want to be free. Okay? So um, let's get a... Let's see. Let's get a... I'm going to get a um, crystal power. Okay? Just to see. Exactly. Let's pinpoint this thing. Crystal power. It's terrible. Let's get one card. One card from the crystal power. One card from the crystal power. Tu peux diminuer ta vidéo? Merci. Tu peux diminuer ta vidéo? One card from the crystal power. <clears throat> That's two. One card from the spirit. Mm. Yeah, the emperor, you're ready to build your own legacy. Uh, you know, you're ready to go, emperor. That fire energy again. Knight of Wands, Empress. You're ready to build your own empire. You're ready to start, like, thinking about you. You have things to do. You have visions, you know. And you've been tethered down. You've been tied down. You've been, like, weighed down. And you're done with that. You're making an empowering choice right now. This is a choice. You are making the choice to start thinking about you. And that's good, okay? That's good. That's good. So, <clears throat> now let's get a Just Sacred Destiny by Dennis Lynn. Let's see what the medicine is. What is spirit telling you? Sacred Destiny Dennis Lynn for group number five. Sacred Destiny Dennis Lynn, group number five. Sacred Destiny Dennis Lynn, group number five. Sacred Destiny Dennis Lynn, group number five. Oops. Sacred Destiny, Dennis Lynn. Group number five with the Malachi healing. Going forward, going forward, moving forward. New way of thinking, going forward, going, leaving a place to go to another. Okay? Going forward. Look at all that green, which is, reminds me of that Empress energy as well. You're ready to build. You're ready to go to greener pastures, uh, which is that, right? Going to smoother waters. And yes, you're going to build your legacy. Look at that. It's going to be very, very abundant too. You're ready to you're ready to venture out and think about you. That's what you're trying to do over here, okay? All right, uh, well, group number five. Group number five is taking a new direction for themselves. Group number five is embarking on um, building their legacy, okay? And it's dropping the burdens. All right, thank you so much, group number five. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry the video got cut off. It is what it is. <laughs> Bye. All right, group number six, last but not least. Group number six, last but not least. What do we have for you? All right, group number six, let's do it. Group number six, last but not least. Group number six. Are you ready? We have amethyst for you, group number six, which is, which is all about meditation. 
connection to spirit source. Okay. Meditation, connection to source for my group number six. Let's get some energy oracle for you. Let's do some sage before this video. I just charged like 16% because I was like, okay, I have to do this because I'm going to have lunch too. My son had lunch. He's like always like, mommy, mommy, when I'm doing videos, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat. <laughs> okay. All right, group number four. Six, last but not least, Meditation Amethyst, which is all about the crown chakra, even the third eye as well. It's connection to spirit, source, it's downloads. Okay, spiritual awakening, recentering yourself, your chakras, in order to receive, you know, in order to be clear-headed, level-headed, make the best decisions for, you know, get information from your higher self. All right, Spirit, what do we have for group number six, please, from the Energy Oracle? Group number six, Energy Oracle. <clears throat> group number six, Spirit. Energy Oracle. Energy Oracle. Oops. Group number six, Energy Oracle, please, Spirit. Group number six, there we go. Anxiety. Ooh. Hmm. Number nine. There's a decision you have to make. You're anxious about something, obviously, right? It's self explanatory. Let's get a Queen of the Moon Oracle. Get in depth with this. There's something you're thinking about that makes you anxious, but whatever it is, there's no need to be in this state here because the answer lies within you. That's maybe why you're thinking of meditation. Meditation. Meditating, or you are advised to meditate because you will find the solution in yourself okay it's it within you the information is within you <clears throat> but you have to connect to spirit and be aligned to receive it you know and so anxiety you don't have to be anxiety anxious because this is like nine of source energy okay this is like nine of source energy all right let's go for it sleepless nights worry <clears throat> anxiety <laughs> Right, Spirit, what do we have for group number six? It's from the goddess of the moon oracle, Stacey DeMarco. Stacey DeMarco. Okay, Spirit. For group number six, that's a lot of cards. Five, we're not going to do that. Spirit, just one card maybe. <laughs> number six. Amethyst, meditation. You're very tense right now. Group number six. Growth. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Growth. This is, uh, it's... It's necessary for you. You're thinking about something, of investing in something maybe. <laughs> this is a uh, five. You're, you're thinking about a change that's creating chaos in your head. That's making you anxious, right? Sleepless nights. It's a challenge. You're challenged by something. Um, it's a decisive decision that you have to take. You can no longer put it off. And that's what's bringing you the anxiety because the decision has to be made now. There's no going around it. You probably put it off for a while. Um, but you're at a crossroad now and you have to make a decision. Okay. And this is for your growth. Every decision, whether it's challenging or not, whatever answer, whatever um, decision or direction you take is not the wrong one. Okay. It's the one that's meant for you at that time. All right. Group number six. All right. Let's get some tarot. So don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the outcome. Just make a decision and go for it and put everything you got into it, okay? Put everything you got into it and trust in spirit. And relax. Relax. Meditation is all about relaxation. See you. I feel you very anxious right now, group number six. Very, very anxious. There's no need to be, okay? Whatever decision you take is going to be good. You, you. There's no wrong decision, okay? Just choose a path. All right, Spirit, what do we have for group number six? Amethyst, please. Group number six, Amethyst, meditation. What did I need to know? Group number six, Amethyst, meditation. Confusion. <laughs> yep, confusion, total confusion, anxiety, because you're going all over the place. Like I said, you need to ground your energy. Meditation, you need to ground your energy. You will find the answer. Pick one and go for it. Um, yeah, you need to ground your energy. You're too, too, too much anxious right now. Group number six. Okay, Spirit, one more. let's get more cards here for group number six. Group number six, Spirit. Okay, yep, yeah. indecision. Oh, yeah. Two of swords, indecision, confusion. 
having to make a decision. Like I said, didn't I say about two crossroads? Having to make a decision. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, more Pisces here. Ten of Swords, yep, it's over. Like I said, you you have to make a decision now. You're at a crossroad. Ten, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Temperance, temper your energy, balance your energy, stay out of that anxious energy, meditate to balance your energy. Didn't I say that in the beginning? You need to ground your energy, balance your energy, know that spirit is with you, you are protected. Whatever decision you take is the right decision. If you feel it in your heart, you're good, okay? Follow your intuition, follow your intuition, but you have to make a decision, group number six, okay? Let's clarify. Yep, two of swords and decision. There's a need for balance here. There's a need for balance. This decision is needed. It's unavoidable. It's 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 now. Okay. All right, Spirit. What else do we have? Let's clarify with this Les Kerber, a little uh, tarot mini, mini, mini cute deck. Group number six, Spirit. Let's clarify for them. Let's clarify the two of swords, Spirit. Whoa, some cards just flipped. A lot of them. Well, that was before I shuffled. Anyway, so group number six, please, Spirit. Two of swords. Two of swords. Two of swords. Queen of Cups, follow your intuition. Mm -hmm. Follow your intuition. This is all about intuition here. Meditation, the first card. You know, you know what to do. But step away from the anxiety so you can make the clear decision. Get out of your head. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, this anxiety is confusion. Confusion brings anxiety. You need to be level-headed, clear-headed. Meditation, go within and ask yourself, what is in my best interest? Okay. What is in my best interest? That's the question. Chariot, and then move forward and head on. What is in my best interest? The first answer you get, meditate, clear your energy, calm down, calm your energy, you know, oh, breathe, meditate, and the first, you know, ask yourself, what is in my best interest? What is for my highest and my greatest good? The first thing that comes to your mind, go for it. You will be victorious. You will be successful. Okay? It's the right decision. Go for it. Pick one and go for it. Pick a decision. Pick pick something. You, it's time. Because then you have the emperor. Stand in your power. Reclaim your power. You know you are the emperor. You're the magician. Fire energy. Fire. Go for it. Cancer. Go for it. Movement. Forward with confidence. With a sense of knowing. Okay? This is pure confidence here. That will lead to success. Because you're in this and when you're in this energy... You do things out of passion with love and determination. This is determination here. You're bound to succeed. Emperor comes with the Ten of Wands. You're an emperor. You can take anything. You can take anything. You are strong. You're powerful. Okay? Temperance, please, Spirit, for group number six. Temper your energies. Okay? Meditation. Balance your energies, your chakras. Get out of your head. Hermit, that question again. Meditation, temperance. Guys, I'm telling you. There's a need to ground your energy and to chill and relax and breathe. The answer lies within you. The answer, you're, the answer lies within you. You need to ground your energy. You need to meditate and ground your energy and ask yourself that question. Like I told you, what is for my highest and my greatest good? Virgo energy, okay? Great. Yeah, you're looking for an answer that's causing you anxiety. You, you're anxious for nothing, basically. You're anxious for nothing. It's not that deep. <laughs> you're, making a, you're making a movie. You're making a movie. When all along, the answer is right there. It's right there. But if you would just like stop and listen, you, you would get it. But this anxiety is like locking all doors. It's creating like a blockage, okay? Spirit, let's get the Numinous Astro deck. Let's get a card just to pinpoint exactly what's up, what's going on. For a group number six, Spirit. Group number six. <clears throat> what's the situation? Meditation, Amethyst. Group number six. Group number six, Spirit. Group number six. Amethyst, meditation. There we go. What do we have? Sagittarius, the Voyager. <laughs> yes, that's that voyage you need to take, that meditation. Sagittarius is all about higher consciousness, higher learning, higher knowledge, going within, deep connecting to source, looking at things from a point of view that does not even exist in the 3D, which is all about anxiety is 3D, fear is 3D. You need to like uplift yourself, uplift your spirit, go up there in source and get it out, get the information out, pull it down. All right, guys. 
Sagittarius, wisdom. This is wisdom, pure wisdom here. Okay? Um, it's independent, it's generous, it's, um, it's, it's, it's traveling, self-righteousness, okay? Anyway, so let's get a, let's get a, uh, let's get, um, earth magic, okay? All right, earth magic, please, spirit. Let's get an earth magic for group six. Group six, group number six, please, with the amethyst spirit. Group number six, amethyst. Group number six, amethyst. Wisdom here, wisdom, wisdom. You have the knowledge, you do. You're very wise. Don't let anxiety get in the way, okay? Anxiety is nine, then you have the ten of wands. You're almost there. But you need, you need this new beginning because you need it. Everything, this new beginning is going to be so abundant for you. The ten, like as I said, ten came, ten of the ten of wands. It's going to bring you into a brand new, fresh beginning, which is full of success. Okay, full of success, full of discovery, okay, and just growth all around all around don't block it with this anxiety okay guys <clears throat> whatever this is all right let's get um let's get um some other cards let's get some um affirmation soul's journey i think you need it what's blocking you what's blocking you what's this anxiety okay let's see spirit what do we have for group number six what is what is this anxiety what's blocking them what is the affirmation that can help him over here. Okay, let's get one. Group number six. Spirit. What's blocking them? Okay, it's an affirmation that can help them out. Group number six. Amethyst. Meditation. Spirit. Whatever group number six. Number six, spirit. Whoa, three? Okay. Just one is one, but hey, well, yeah, worry, definitely worry, <laughs> worry. That's worry for you right there. Worry that creates anxiety and that creates sickness, mental body, and then physical body. You know, worry is so bad. I am learning that worrying doesn't change the outcome. <laughs> it doesn't. Like I said, whatever choice you make is good, but make one. You got to make one. Even if it's bad, it's better to have made a choice than not to have made any choice and to live in regret, right? You got to make that choice. Then you have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Right? Sagittarius, awareness. Hermit, awareness. Okay? Replace this fear with awareness. Right, guys? Okay, let's keep going. Cards are speaking. Health. Did I say about health? Worry affects the mental worry affects your physical body. In the end of the day, it does. It's very dangerous. There's nothing worse than worry and fear. Especially worry, because worry is the mental body and it affects your physical vessel. Fear is something else, okay? I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. That's exactly what I was saying, you guys. Let's get an um, empowering question now for you guys. I feel like we need it too. And we'll wrap it up. <clears throat> Before the video shuts down, I can't make it in three parts. That would be ridiculous to do a video for just like one part, right, guys? Plus, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what do I have for group number six, please? With the amethyst meditation. Turn this anxiety, this worry into meditation. It's not the same, right? It's still thinking, but this is thinking positive and being open and not making movies, stopping the mind, the chit chatter. Okay, all right. Spare, what do you have for group number six, please, with meditation? Group number six with meditation. What is an empowering question for them? You have affirmations. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Worry. I am learning that worry, worry doesn't change an outcome. And health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. This full moon in Virgo. Very Virgo energy here. Okay. All right. Oops. And the body. The mind can affect the body, the body can affect the mind too. It goes both ways. The ebb and flow, right? Right now, you, you're you about to affect your body though with that thinking, that overthinking. Okay, stop the chit chat, stop the monkey mind. What kind of advice on life would I give to my younger self? Lessons. 
It's about lessons. These are all lessons. We live and we learn and we keep growing. Change is ever, ever coming, ever going. We undergo tremendous change in this lifetime. So don't worry about this. Don't be scared. Don't give it to fear. Whatever decision you make is the right one. Even if it turns out doesn't turn out the way you wanted it to be, well, guess what? You still have another choice to make. You, it's all about choices. So don't ponder on it so much. It's not, it makes no sense. It, it just doesn't change anything, you know, except keeping you stagnant and effect, affecting your health. All right, group number six, <sighs> breathe, relax, and um, just, 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 just stop the mind. Stop the mind, okay? And you will get the, the answer you're, you're looking for. You'll get like signs, you know, you'll get a sign, okay? All right, group number six, thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. And I will see you guys um, next week. I don't know when. <laughs> Hope you like you like this uh, pick a card. Thanks. Bye.